In this video, I'll look at blocking in a pose in 3ds Max, useful for character animation. I've got the cameras set up from previous lessons. The first camera starts close on the window and dollies back to reveal the Tuiko having a conversation. Starting looking out at the deck and the boulders, and panning left, dollying back, to reveal them talking. The next camera, and I'll hit C to select the camera, the next camera starts overlapping that animation, looking at one or two of them, we'd hope, and panning to the right to follow the arm line and eye line as he looks out the window to show us something. To block in an animation is to set the key poses before you worry about the timing between the keyframes. What we want to avoid is the dreaded CG curse of drifting and floating, where characters seem to float weightlessly and don't really contact the ground and don't snap in their poses. They don't have any emphasis when they gesture. What I'll start out with then is once I've got the cameras blocked in, getting the characters in the right position for that camera as if they were talking together. I'm going to select the cat parent here and notice that in the motion panel under layer manager I don't have any animation layers available yet. I want to take this character and position him as a static object, where really I have no availability of toggling the setup animation mode. I'll get them staged right for the camera first and then block the poses in. In my camera view from camera 2, I'll look at the character at the start of this animation and put him in the right place. This may be something to do in two or four views. I've configured my viewports so that I can see the animation through the camera in the top frame and on the bottom three have my various views, front, left, and top. I've also turned the top frame to shaded so I don't see all the black in there. Now I'll look in the top view and zoom in on the character and I'll watch as I move that cat parent where the character sits in that camera view. I'll select the parent back to my top view hitting Z for zoom extents and start to move it over and we can see where he goes relative to the camera. I'm going to pull him forward on the Y axis so he comes onto the frame and maybe just check in the safe frame or a full view and see if this works. There we go. In the start of my medium shot we see this eco. He's full in the frame looking at us and ready to gesture out to the side. Now I'm ready to add animation layers. In the hierarchy panel, I'll add in a layer. Now with this layer on, I can switch this character over to setup animation mode and start to animate him. He's ready to animate. For this one, I'm going to use set key. The idea in set key is we can block in a pose and only keyframe it when we're ready at the frame we're on, instead of having one automatically at zero. Right now, there's no animation. I know where he needs to point, so I'm going to switch over to a perspective view and be able to orbit around nicely. He's looking out and turning to gesture. I'm going to select his controllers. There's his pelvis control to start. And I'll turn on set key, and I'm going to say he starts to turn at, oh, here's frame 62 and I'll hit the key. There's a keyframe there and I'll come forward maybe to 84 and I'll rotate this controller first and I'll say does that turn work? Does that look right? Hitting C for camera and checking. That's pretty good so I'm going to key it. Then I'll look at his other controllers. We'll start with the body or the gut first and then work our way out to the extremities. If the body is posed right the extremities will follow nicely, and so will the head. Facial animation is the icing on the cake. I'll pick his shoulder controller, and I'll say that he started to turn low and then turned his shoulders last, so a few more frames forward. I'm going to set a key for the starting position, and then I'll come forward a few frames and rotate that shoulder controller to let him turn out and set another key. Finally, 
he'll start to raise his arms so that a few more frames back maybe starting at 82 this arm started to move remember when we're in cat we've got FK and IK blendable I'm gonna to start to pull this arm up and rotate the controller out as if he's pointing and set a key for that controller then I'll come forward here to maybe a hundred something and pull that arm up accidentally select the window frame I'll pull the arm up hit spacebar for selection lock now and rotate his hand I may end up turning him a little more he looks like he's pointing at us but we'll see finally I'll work on the head I'll come back to where he's aiming and set a key here for his head control I'll pick it I'll hit the key for set key I'll come forward maybe this is the last thing to rotate and I'll rotate his head to look out the window we can suggest in a motion he doesn't have to turn 180 degrees to look all the way out the idea is we can see him in the frame and as we start to go he turns to look now if you notice as I scrub on the timeline it is jerky that's okay that's the idea in blocking in poses that rather than looking at the motion between the keys I want to get the key poses and the silhouettes right to begin with by turning to the right in stages he's drawing our eye to the right to see what's out there that he's going to point out I'll work over the rest of the animation this way working with step tangents where they hold their value until the next keyframe and look at the extreme poses in the animation checking from the camera view before I worry about smoothing it out